Шановні учасники, перед тим, як ми розпочнемо, один технічний момент. Ми працюємо у режимі вебінар. Хочу розпочати наш захід, який проходить у змішаному форматі і онлайн, і офлайн. Тому прохання колег, які знаходяться онлайн, відповідно реагувати. Вони можуть задавати запитання і коментувати відповідно в чаті чи через безпосередній зв'язок. У нас програма наша присвячена... Our program is devoted to the Day of Soil, which is uh, celebrated on uh, December 5. And this event in Ukraine, jointly with others, is uh, associated uh, with the fact uh, that the, the soil issue is uh, uh, growing and is associated with the need to save soils because the soils is not just the food uh, providing function, uh, but uh, also uh, a number of biospheric functions. Which uh, uh, there's added resources and uh, uh, we are welcoming various institutions and participants uh, and uh, so schoolers and the students uh, in order to draw their attention uh, to problems that are we are facing. And today we are holding this event uh, uh, jointly with uh, FAO uh, jointly with Ukrainian Soil Partnership and uh, representative of the from the uh, Agrarian Ministry here. Uh, according to our uh, agenda, so we are uh, following our agenda, and the Q and A will be at the end. Uh, bad communication, bad connection. The internet doesn't work. So, Uh, yes, good afternoon. Sorry. Uh, I hope you can hear me well. Thank you. Uh, thank you so much. Uh, good afternoon and happy soil day ahead. Uh, and thank you for your presence, virtual or physic. Uh, translator cannot hear anything. Um, I understand that the translator cannot hear me. Is this, uh, can the others hear me? Дмитре, переключіться на іншу мову. Should I continue? No one moment. Translating is not here.
Tiene otro. Can you please continue? We will sign a new um, translator. Okay. Thank you and apologies about this technical inconvenience. So I'll continue. Uh, I was um, showing my appreciation for the presence of uh, presential or virtual uh, on this event. And um, let me then proceed. We all uh, know and are aware that Ukraine is very famous for the fertile and extensive black soils. But unfortunately, uh, the Ukrainian soils are also suffering from serious erosion and deterioration after many years of intensive production. They have become acid, saline, or alkaline due to unstable agricultural practices. Uh, so I will not uh, talk much about this as we are talking with an audience of experts. I was just raising the attention for the serious situation that we will all be facing in the upcoming years if uh, no action is taken. So we are together here to reflect about <clears throat> the steps that Ukraine has uh, taken for the formation of transparent and clear land value formation. And this event, this event coincides with the World Soil Day celebration, which aims to globally promote the importance and value of land as a public good. And uh, we are proud to say that with the support of FAO and under the umbrella of the Global Soil Partnership, uh, in 2019, the National Soil Partnership was established in Ukraine by eight leading state soil scientific institutions. And this partnership is acting as a national platform and facilitating the dialogue and the cooperation among ministries, leading institutions, uh, research uh, schools and laboratories, laboratories on land resources and other relevant stakeholders. It's also supporting the formation of a monitoring base of land cover, land productivity and carbon stocks. And uh, besides all that, the, plot, the platform uh, is playing a major role in ad advocating for a coordinated initiative to achieve a neutral uh, and neutral land degradation by 2030. So FAO has supported the, the Ukrainian Soil Partnership. Uh, and this year, uh, this support was uh, important as it has contributed to the assignment of the agreements between the association and three scientific institutions, namely the National Scientific Center, uh, Institute for Soil Science and Agrochemistry Research in Kharkiv, uh, state soil institutions, and the um, Soil Protection Institute of Ukraine and the Institute of Water Problems and Land Reclamation. Um, today, we have uh, the pleasure to have with us a representative from the Ministry of Agrarian Policy and Food, which will be signing the agreement with the Ukrainian Soil Partnership for further finalizing an establishment of a LDN monitoring system. This is a very important step for Ukraine in order to monitor the soil quality and also to draw the attention to the technical side of the land market. And we are very proud that this is happening today and also for having made part of this process. Finalizing uh, my intervention, I would just like to mention that uh, Ukraine's fertile soil needs to be protected from soil degradation and that we can all play an important role to protect soil biodiversity and also to raise awareness and advocating for education, management, uh, sustainable practices that could uh, help us to achieve uh, this objective. So thank you so much for having me. I wish uh, a very successful uh, signature and uh, I will be on this side to clarify any questions, if any. Many thanks. Thank you. Thank you, Mara. Thank you very much. Uh, 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 coming back uh, to our program, I would like to say 
that we as the team that uh, is working uh, on the neutral degradation of lands in Ukraine, uh, uh, we are availing uh, the efforts uh, by the Ministry of Agriculture, and uh, we do understand that uh, the Ministry pays a great attention to soils, um, uh, taking uh, into account uh, that uh, the topical is uh, the information uh, 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 with regards to the land market, which started working in Ukraine, and the only way for efficient uh, soil management soil resource management and providing food security uh, of the state and quality of environment is the good, reliable uh, and uh, updated information on the status of uh, soils. Now I, I give the floor to Taras Juba, the Deputy Minister uh, of Agriculture and Food. Please, you have the floor. Thank you. Uh, on behalf of the ministry to express our gratitude and thanks to food and agriculture organizations of the united nations for their continuous support and effort and leadership and to miss workers personally on the on driving the agenda of uh, of good practices in land management and, and and challenging the issues with land management uh, we find it very, very important, and we see a strong support and strong partner in your state. We are very thankful for the support which you give in the in, in the expert level in in providing the leadership and driving the agenda. Пройду далі на українську мову. Дійсно, ми з вами зібралися на передодні всесвітнього дня грунтів, і також у нас трапляється, що як правило, гадаємо певні речі на передодні якихось подій чи маючи символи і е, якраз е, цей рік ще особливий тим що запустити ринок землі а ринок землі сільськогосподарського призначення безумовно пов'язаний з питаннями грунтів їх охорони їх якості і власне цієї екосистеми їх використання тому uh, therefore, we think uh, that it is very important to draw attention of the uh, public in order to uh, increase uh, awareness and support of the uh, good uh, ecosystems through uh, soil management, through fighting the salination of soils and increase uh, uh, information about uh, lands. Uh, agriculture is the uh, big sector uh, and uh, it means that uh, big efficiency could be reached uh, through formulation of systems uh, which unite information from various sources and uh, the soils uh, is uh, a fundamental basis uh, for that. The Minister of Agriculture has uh, a task uh, for food security as Ukraine plays uh, an important role in export and global uh, uh, and uh, for various cultures. Uh, it has, uh, it is a, a number five uh, exporter in food. Uh, it's uh, crops, uh, it's uh, uh, oil, crops uh, and it plays uh, an important role in food security at the same time uh, uh, one has to be careful because development of agrarian sector uh, uh, and we could see that the agricultural sector is developing uh, the number of products that ukraine supplies uh, to the world market uh, we should formulate our policy the, in order to, so that this increase would not uh, be uh, taken for, uh, at degradation and wrong practices, uh, which would uh, degrade, salinate our uh, soils. And uh, in the long term uh, would bring some, to major losses increase uh, of uh, economic power and production uh, is uh, occurring in compliance with the national economic strategy until 2030 uh, and uh, uh, it is important to adhere to this strategy uh, 
uh, you know, uh, with green growth uh, in order to mitigate the climate factors. Uh, all of us uh, uh, witnessed uh, over the recent years that we have a record uh, harvest of uh, oil cultures, more than 100 million tons of uh, harvest. At the same time, uh, we all remember 2019 uh, when we had uh, big losses due to climate droughts uh, at, the, at the south of the country. Uh, it brings a great concern. Uh, taking complex uh, tasks, uh, which are set forth for the ministry, uh, we need to take uh, right decisions, uh, uh, implement them, uh, uh, rapid digitalization of the process uh, 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 would be a part of the agrarian policy of the uh, uh, state. But uh, again, uh, one has to be careful that any digitalization uh, and uh, decision making based on the uh, IA uh, uh, and forecasting of production, uh, now, you know, depends on the reliability of the input data, uh, hydrometeorological, water, uh, climatic, and the others. Uh, unfortunately, for the long time in our country, uh, 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 the policy for, for collection of such data was not working. And uh, we are at the very beginning of this uh, path, and we are to unite our efforts, uh, you know, leading scientific institutions, uh, uh, ministry uh, uh, capacity in order to collect these data, to use uh, them uh, so that they could be a ba uh, they could become a basis for decision making. Uh, for monitoring the situation, for using the uh, soils and formulate the uh, re reliable management models to uh, keep the quality of grounds uh, and control for their use. And the ministry this year, you know, has launched the green monitoring uh, in the cadaster uh, and also in Greece, uh, also has some commercial compound uh, with the ministry. Uh, uh, of uh, uh, agriculture, so you could see the prices for uh, land resources and transactions, which started from July this year. Uh, it would be useful to supplement uh, uh, this information with quality characteristics of uh, soils uh, located in different parts, so that uh, the business uh, uh, circles could uh, have a uh, uh, look how it is correlated with the prices so, so that businesses could take this information into account uh, uh, and the landowners could get uh, the most efficient uh, um, disposal of the land. Therefore, uh, today uh, we put uh, signing the memorandum uh, which uh, would work with the various uh, the, um, uh, state agencies uh, and data uh, sources and in partnership uh, 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 with uh, the uh, businesses and formulate a single information environment. Uh, and this information uh, would be used uh, and placed in uh, uh, geospatial data. Uh, next year, we are planning to increase uh, funding from the state budget uh, of this uh, uh, agency, and uh, uh, we will fill it with uh, quality data uh, on that resource and the infrastructure and the legislation uh, uh, structure is already created, it will be uh, developed and I uh, welcome you to use this data and this resource. This is basically the uh, main thing uh, that I wanted to say. And uh, I'd like to thank uh, the UN and FAO in particular for the efforts uh, they provide uh, and leadership that they provide uh, in uh, soil protection and security. Uh, thank you, Taras. Uh, I'd like to uh, iterate for our listeners online 
and uh, our participants, uh, those who work online, you have the option of uh, interpretation. Uh, if you need, you could use it. I'd like to uh, specify uh, this information resource. Will it be uh, accessible to the uh, conventional citizens uh, and land users? The national e infrastructure of geospatial data is the uh, open source data source and the users are various uh, departments uh, and agencies. Uh, uh, this uh, uh, source uh, established uh, qu quality standards for the data and uh, reflects those data, uh, which are accessible to anyone. And as uh, Mr. Taras is, uh, has limited time, uh, we have to, the opportunity to ask him questions uh, if you have uh, any. Uh, so the uh, questions could be asked online. Uh, in the chat uh, or here in the uh, uh, from the participants here do you have any questions uh, probably not uh, then uh, uh, so this is the very good procedure to sign memoranda with the ukrainian soil partnership and the ministry of uh, agrarian policy and food d directly online live Thank you very much. Uh, on behalf of the Ukrainian Soil Partnership, was uh, the memorandum was signed by Mr. Romashenko uh, for the amelioration. Uh, please uh, uh, tell us what you think about this memorandum. Thank you very much. I'd like to welcome uh, everybody with this important event. And I would like to say that Ukrainian Soil Partnership, which is working for one and a half year, so has the main task uh, uh, to uh, keep and uh, uh, protect the uh, fertile soil. And one of the big uh, uh, works that the Soil Partnership is doing is uh, providing, is arranging the system of uh, uh, soil management and the institution of the national agrarian science. Uh, 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 they are the co-founders of this uh, soil partnership uh, and within this academy of agrarian science, you know, with uh, joint efforts, uh, they are implementing a pilot project uh, for uh, soil uh, uh, research, uh, which uh, was uh, our, outlined uh, by the uh, National Security Service uh, and the decree of president uh, uh, to investigate the uh, status of all the soils. And this uh, work was launched uh, uh, by the Ministry of Agrarian uh, Science. Uh, more than 350,000 hectares of agricultural land was uh, to be investigated. Uh, and these data were uh, 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 obtained and uh, you know we will fill uh, the system with this data uh, uh, with the modern uh, uh, data 
and based on this data to create uh, algorithm for uh, forecasting of all the processes uh, which are taking uh, going on with the uh, soils in order to uh, do relevant operations uh, during uh, sales or market functioning. Um, uh, information system uh, of uh, technology process management uh, and agricultural products production. So uh, based on this information, therefore, uh, again, I would like to thank the Ministry of Agriculture and FAO in particular for the support of Ukrainian uh, soil partnership and to welcome everybody coming new year. Uh, and uh, emphasize uh, that the soil is the greatest treasure uh, that Ukraine owns, so that uh, them, uh, they uh, would serve further to Ukraine and uh, uh, the great goal of Ukraine to become the, uh, the food provider for the world. Thank you very much. Uh, thank you, Mikhailo. And uh, today we will hear a representative uh, of the global uh, soil partners uh, because the uh, ukraine soil partnership is a part of the european uh, soil partnership and works under auspices of the world uh, uh, soil partnership and uh, we are pleased uh, that the secretary of uh, global partnership participates in that uh, is he here he is here. I am very pleased to introduce you, uh, Secretary of Global Soil Partnership, Roland Varda. Good afternoon. Thank you very much for the opportunity. I'm very grateful for your kind invitation uh, in this World Soil Day celebration that of course we are anticipating to this Sunday, but I, should, I must congratulate all of you for organizing this significant event and for the signature of this agreement. We want to highlight the, the rapid growth of this Ukrainian soil partnership, which we are very not only grateful, but proud because we know that it has been institutionalized and is really moving forward. And that for us is of significant importance given that we believe that a country like Ukraine, having all those very rich soils and having also these uh, rich soil scientists, that they should come together and work together towards a common objective. Therefore, we are very grateful for this and we really are um, giving uh, or showing Ukrainian soil partnership as an example. Now, I was invited to speak a bit uh, about the importance of um, data, because as I could see, you are doing quite an impressive work in trying to uh, not only map, but have a, a monitoring system in order to see how your soils, your land are doing. And I believe that is fundamental nowadays, and I will, tell you why we believe this is important. So currently, globally, we are facing many challenges related to degradation, uh, the loss of biodiversity, climate change, food insecurity and malnutrition. We can add poverty, water scarcity, and many more. But at the same time, countries made a commitment towards a sustainable development and there are the sustainable development goals. And indeed you are working quite a lot in terms of land degradation neutrality, which is part of the SDG 15. In all this, what we want to tell you is that, well, soils can help you out because they can uh, help with achieving some of these SDGs. Why? Because a healthy soil is able to provide multiple ecosystem services, not only those related to the heart of us, which is food production, but many of them that are very invisible related, for instance, to nutrient cycling or carbon sequestration. So all those are very invisible. And that's why many times 
soils are very undervalued uh, because we don't see what they are doing. But as silent they are, they do quite a lot of things for us. Now, we are always promoting sustainable soil management because we want that the soil health is good now and it will be good in the future. And that's why we need to ensure that the practices and the management that we will adopt are really uh, sustainably and that will ensure the provision of ecosystem service that I showed before, now and in the future. In order to, do, to know if we are implementing good practices and if we are doing good and well, we have a protocol for measuring the, uh, the, if you are doing good or not. And this protocol, of course, is based on indicators and metrics. Why? Because we need to measure. We need to have numbers telling us what is happening. We cannot do any more qualitative assessments, but we really need to demonstrate with numbers what is happening. So this protocol helps us with this. But importantly, we want to manage our soil sustainably. How can we manage something that we don't know? And what I mean with this is that sometimes we are already managing and we are adopting practices, etc., without know without knowing our soils, our ecosystem. And that is a real issue because we can maybe adopting practices that are not wise, but we can be also throwing money because we are maybe applying uh, some agrochemicals that are not needed. So for all this, we need to have evidence and evidence comes with data. Okay, and that's why currently we promote sustainable soil management based on science, okay? Therefore, when we will be making decisions at ground level, we need to have data, information. We also need to provide data when developing policies. Policies, policies should be based on and should be driven by science and data. That is fundamental. We cannot base our decisions on facts, on estimates, or on documents. We really need to base all our decisions on data. And that's why data is important. And data should have also some important characteristics. Data and soil information should be harmonized we should be using same methods, same units. It should be interoperable, meaning that if you are collecting data in one plot and then you get data from other plot, the two should be comparable and should be able to operate at the same time. And we need to understand that soil is a dynamic resource. So you don't need to just map now, but you need to monitor. And when talking about data quality and uncertainty, because uncertainty is a keyword, we need to know how, much, how reliable this data is, okay? So in order to do that, we can run uncertainty analysis, especially when mapping, but we need to understand that soil data comes from a process. The process starts with taking samples in a monolith that you can see there or soil uh, pit. We take samples, we take them to the laboratory. Basically, it is the laboratory, the soil laboratory where the data is generated. And that's why is the key data quality uh, um, step. When talking about uncertainty, we tend to forget about soil laboratories, but we need to understand that these laboratories are the, basically the fabric of the data. That's why they really need to be very well equipped, not only in terms of equipment, but in terms of staff capacities, and they should be following standard operating procedures for their management. Otherwise, we can really not talk about quality. Then we use this data for assessment, for mapping, and of course, 
monitoring, which is very important. For this, for example, we have a network of soil laboratories in more than 151 countries that join this network in order to develop a standard operating procedure so that all these laboratories use these standards and then we can compare, we can harmonize, etc. But also in order to develop capacities because we are training, we are providing with equipment, etc. So this is a very important steps. All these then will fit and fit into the global soil information system. And the global soil information system is composed of national soil information systems. So it is really our hope that Ukraine will have their national soil information systems with all the standards, including the monitoring capacity, so that then they can be connected to the global one. And then that becomes real global soil information systems. And soil information nowadays is becoming very important and some applications are related, for instance, to the climate change. In Ukraine, you have, and you are very blessed by nature because you have black soils, which are carbon rich soils. And there, of course, you need to have, the way you need to develop policies should be in line of understanding the importance of such soils. Why not, why not to degrade it? Because if you degrade them, you will be releasing grass, greenhouse gas and gases. And that is against all what we are trying to do globally, right? Against climate change. But also if you want to adapt or if you want to sequester more carbon, you need to know if there is potential, right? Maybe there are, while you have very rich carbon soils, you have others that can sequester more carbon. And nowadays that is very important and there is quite a lot of resources available in order for supporting farmers to adopt good practices for sequestering carbon and generating other co-benefits related with it. Uh, if we know what is the mitigation potential, then we can take, we can develop policies and then actions on the ground in order to tap this potential and the resources so these are very concrete examples on how you can apply, but also if you have issues related to salinity, for instance, it is very important to take action so that we prevent it or we manage or we restore. So data and information with quality and with a target purpose is very useful for making decisions that then will bring us benefits for all. It is an investment, but a good one. And I will end that with saying that currently we are trying to move to a global uh, soil deal, meaning that what we are trying to do is to enhance soil productivity, right? Because we want more safer and more nutritious crops. That is what we want, not only to increase the yield per se. We want to do this, but we want to reduce degradation. We want to use the, the to reduce the use of agro inputs because we need to be wise on doing that. And for this, the information and data that is generated help us a lot. And we want to reduce greenhouse gas emissions. We want to reduce soil pollution. We want to increase soil organic carbon stocks. We want to enhance the, the provision of ecosystem services by soils to reduce the biodiversity loss and to enhance resilience. Overall, with all this, we can contribute to achieve the sustainable development goals and reduce poverty. Therefore, as you can see, to all this, there is a central and common and cross-cutting aspect, soil data and information. So it is good that you are taking that bold step in having that uh, information system related to land degradation neutrality. And the key challenge with all that is and that's a key message to all of you, particularly the institutions, the Ukrainian Soil Partnership, and uh, a special greeting, of course, to the deputy uh, minister, His Excellency, so that we can understand something very important. We saw in many places that the efforts are made to establish soil information systems or land information systems or natural information systems, natural resource information systems. But they forget that, that, that it's, not a, it's not an objective to establish these systems per se. The objective is that there should be continuity 
there should be continuous investment because these kind of systems co requires continuously upgrading, continuously updating, and we are monitoring a dynamic resource. So it is not one, one, uh, one time effort. This is a continuous effort. So my kind advice is that if you start are starting this, please look at it in the long term because this has to be there not only now, but we hope forever. So I hope this is uh, something that you will consider. And again, I thank you for the opportunity. I wish you again, a happy Walsall Day. And uh, please count with us in anything that we can support you. And congratulations again for the agreement. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Robert, uh, for your interesting report. And I must uh, also say that Roman is not only Secretary of Global Safe Partnership, but and uh, Roman is a famous soil scientist, and your soil management, uh, first of all, management Thank you very much, Ronald. The next meeting uh, uh, we will have online is with the Secretary of Ukrainian Soil Partners, is uh, Oksana Davis, uh, to continue the subject uh, which was announced by Ronald uh, to show how uh people work uh, in the world uh, on the problems that ukraine is now a part of uh, and she will tell and how ukrainian soil partnership is working and doing now oksana please you have the floor good day colleagues i hope you can uh, hear me well yes uh let me uh, me uh, add to, to the war uh, words uh, would like to welcome uh, you on the celebration of the World Soil Day and my uh, coordination with uh, correlate with what Roland presented and I will be speaking about the national dimension. Uh, to the, uh, uh, today's 1.5 hours um, event, uh, uh, you know, uh, concentrated three years, uh, 1.5 years of work uh, and the number of people um, and uh, soil scientists, uh, specialists in uh, soil uh, management, not only directly related to soil, but uh, to all, uh, in all uh, what uh, soil resources, what um, agrobiology, chemistry, all the components uh, and all the spectrum of uh, uh, scientists who were involved, uh, uh, the technical block uh, uh, and IT developers uh, and uh, legal block uh, because uh, uh, 1.5 years uh, uh, it was the uh, partnership formulation work and the partnership today is uh, um, established uh, with uh, seven institutions. It was the wise decision. Um, and uh, they are represented pre pre by the Ministry of Agriculture, Ministry of uh, Agrarian Science, uh, Health Ministry, and the like. You can see it on the website and the partnership structure is developed uh, in a way uh, so that anybody could join and the partnership uh, and this monitoring system that is uh, uh, is the basis today you know it should be developing uh, the future and the partnership uh, is developed in a way so that anybody could join uh, all businesses all private institutions so that uh, we could uh, uh, elaborate the system further and jointly with FAO we uh, uh, had uh, um, uh, polling uh, and uh, uh, the soil data, um, you know, where they are in the structure of uh, land market and the uh, agrarian policy. Uh, so one the, of the results that was attained uh, that 68% uh, 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 
um, of the labs or working with the soil, you know, ready to exchange data uh, within this system. I would share uh, my screen and would uh, uh, present the system for you. To prevent technical collisions. Uh, here, uh, uh, you can see in the right underneath uh, the link to the system. Those who are online, uh, you can uh, download it and be uh, on the same page with us today. Uh, also, I would like to thank, uh, uh, I just uh, missed it. Uh, I'm trying to be concise. I'd like to also uh, to thank the Ministry of Agriculture. Uh, so the ministry is supporting the partnership uh, and our idea in formulation uh, and feeling this system. We do understand uh, that uh, this system uh, uh, because without it, uh, uh, we would uh, not be at the level we are at now. And I would like to thank our main partner. Uh, this is uh, FAUR in Ukraine. Because uh, within the project that is being implemented in Ukraine, uh, the FAUR provides uh, a financial assistance And continuing Ronald's words, the information about uh, soils, you know, how it looks now, we do understand uh, how the agrarian business went. So the information on soils uh, is required for um, uh, agriculture and verification of the long term, uh, long distance uh, probing. All these components are uh, interlinked. Uh, this is what and uh, information on soils and condition of land resources is much more. And uh, uh, today it is a part of number of policies uh, which are being actively implemented in Ukraine. Uh, first of all, you can uh, see on this slide, uh, this is uh, implementation of the state initiative associated with client, as Roland says, said, uh, uh, organic carbon uh, is one of the indicators which uh, reflects climatic change. Uh, uh, organic carbon is the part of the green financial in uh, instruments. Uh, and uh, in uh, uh, continuous monitoring uh, and basic lines uh, and uh, verification methods uh, and uh, uh, the like uh, and information on the soils at the part of technical specification of uh, carbon offsets. Information on soils uh, is a part of land market uh, 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 so this um, questionnaire uh, emphasized the co uh, cost of land resources and the information on soils uh, is the uh, big ingredient. Uh, 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 we uh, pay attention uh, what it consists of, uh, uh, but when we buy land, uh, uh, first of all, we uh, uh, take into account what it will consist of and what uh, will happen to the land area uh, in the future uh, based on its uh, condition and status. Everything could be forecasted, assessed if uh, there is uh, information available on uh, soils and uh, which shows the quality and how the uh, degradation uh, processes will occur uh, on the land plant. Uh, 
the Green Deal, uh, you know, took uh, a lot of discussions uh, in part of organic uh, carbon. Uh, this is as one uh, of indicators for verification. And currently we could say that uh, basically uh, all the green uh, money uh, uh, are hidden in Ukrainian black soil. And uh, you, uh, we are to consider, to analyze that uh, also as uh, this information is very important as of today uh, for our could become a basis uh, in uh, models for calculation of national uh, contribution. Uh, this is also one of the moment uh, uh, at the national political uh, area, uh, which was uh, uh, widely discussed in the agrarian sector, uh, many uh, uh, controversial moments uh, where there uh, not uh, everybody from the national uh, partners uh, um, uh, and they were providing their own calculations and information. Uh, but uh, the reliable information on the national level, uh, you know, it didn't exist. You know, uh, what uh, information should be or how the national contribution should be calculated. Uh, soil information uh, uh, is uh, important in terms of irrigation. And uh, Mikhail Ivanovich could tell more about that, but uh, at the same time, uh, soil information for uh, irrigation is important for it, its implementation for perspective uh, and uh, uh, climatic uh, oriented uh, irrigation. Maximum uh, efficient use of water resources uh, and uh, uh, soil resources. Uh, uh, are, are another environmental um, initiative uh, with regards to degraded soils, uh, we are speaking uh, all that uh, the especially degraded soil notion, uh, how it looks like, uh, how and where to look for this information where to find this. Uh, and the information system that we jointly cooperated that could provide this information. Uh, and uh, it comes uh, uh, us back to uh, soil information. Uh, uh, another case, uh, uh, is a business case uh, for adaptation of business uh, techniques, uh, models, uh, and currently the businesses, especially large businesses, uh, invest uh, uh, in uh, scientific uh, development, scientific models, uh, algorithms of uh, machine uh, or digital programmatic, uh, uh, well, software uh, using uh, IA, uh, AI, IA. Uh, and when we uh, introduce new equipment, new technology and models, sometimes it doesn't work in Ukraine because the algorithms uh, developed uh, by our partners uh, abroad uh, 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 have uh, their, their uh, um, information systems uh, structurally. Um, in Ukraine, they do not work or do not correlate. Uh, therefore, availability of the uh, um, justified uh, uh, soil system would be good to adapt uh, uh, and verify such kind of instrument uh, while uh, accessing the market. I'm trying to be concise. Again, poor community. Communication, I cannot hear her. Poor contact, excuse me. I'm waiting when it resumes. Яка б інформація мала бути в ідеалі закладена в систему? Це безумовно типи ґрунтів, і ми сподіваємося, що якщо Національна академія аграрних наук закінчить їхнє повторне обстеження, то в нас буде більш оновлена інформація щодо типів ґрунтів і враховуючи особливо, що бази даних, ті, що існують в інституті агрохімії і ґрунтознавства, перепрошую, в інституті ґрунтознавства. Так, я агрохімія імені Соколовського. 
Також в нас мали бути закладені агрорайонування, водні ресурси, агрохімпаспортизація, задвоєна вміст гумусу, те, що ми говоримо, це частина теж. Водні ресурси і те like. Uh, and uh, content of humus uh, in soils, you know, I specifically emphasize that, and contamination, some erosion process uh, that are taking, uh, uh, going on. Uh, all this uh, information should be put into the system and uh, 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 be reflected in, uh, in it. Uh, this is the ideal, but uh, uh, this is for the future, what we have uh, now and who are the main users of these data. Uh, currently, the users of these data are uh, state organizations and uh, departments. So they are uh, many of and they are different. Currently, we work uh, uh, the work that we did uh, with these three institutions, uh, uh, protection of soils, uh, uh, so, Melioration and soil noise, and also the we have Institute of uh, Microbiology, so it contains microbiological uh, institutions. Uh, it's, uh, it contains the unique uh, soil data uh, with regards to contaminants uh, uh, existing in Ukraine. Those are the institute. Uh, uh, which were collecting uh, and accumulating uh, uh, soil information. Also, um, uh, information on soils uh, 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 have uh, some private labs. Uh, they are 21. Maybe this is not the full information. Uh, and currently it's 21 private uh, uh, soil labs. Also big uh, users uh, of information is big businesses, uh, big uh, agro companies, holdings uh, and service providers who provide uh, various services. Uh, however, uh, the problem, uh, as Roland says, uh, uh, everything starts uh, from uh, data collection for soil. Uh, those institutions are overlapping each other's uh, activities, uh, starting from uh, soil analysis, uh, uh, to which, uh, you know, the agrarian business, you know, take uh, refers to uh, private labs and the private labs uh, 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 sometimes refer to the state organizations and uh, entities. Therefore, uh, accumulation of data uh, has the cyclic uh, character and it's linked uh, to the methodologies uh, used uh, in Ukraine to people uh, who work in this uh, area. Uh, so all these three components in Ukraine are quite limited uh, and uh, they are uh, shrinking. Uh, 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 the, the problem why business cannot uh, satisfy the needs of the national monitoring or be leader because uh, businesses compete with each other uh, and they're focusing on their needs. Uh, uh, which is okay, but the only moment uh, is uh, that uh, uh, businesses could be, uh, essentially be uh, uh, essentially contribute uh, uh, to the system and get uh, uh, missing information and uh, knowledge and methodology that they need for their development. The fact uh, what we present today, uh, and uh, it is a small part, uh, uh, because uh, currently we are only showing demo version of what we are doing, uh, but we still have uh, uh, a lot of work to improve. Uh, uh, some joint work, I hope. Mm, uh, however, I would like to show you uh, why uh, no private uh, uh, organization could not uh, formulate the complex uh, monitoring system. Over a year it took uh, for, for work of technical staff members um, uh, in order to um, uh, collect the minimum set of indicators. We're going to show it. Uh, and therefore, uh, this is it. 
in Ukraine, there is a number of problems uh, uh, which are to be uh, resolved to harmonize data. First of all, these are different data, uh, the selection uh, data and processing data. Uh, at least three uh, parts uh, are here. Uh, discussions were held at the level on how, what indicators uh, should be used, whether those should uh, be uh, taken uh, humus uh, by the Soviet uh, system, or sh should we use the organic carbon, which uh, reflects uh, more reality and need as of today. These are different uh, data accumulators uh, and storage. Uh, um, sometimes they are they have different in the system of indicators, which were developed uh, under different uh, methodologies. Uh, then, uh, uh, Rona, what Rona says is is mapping. Uh, uh, so we have a lot of questions there too. Uh, all those. Uh, uh, information systems uh, uh, are stored in different formats uh, uh, and within one even one organization or lab uh, when it's uh, being operated for a long time on the market it could have the uh, stored system indicators even within one organization you know there could be a different format different uh, structures uh, different uh, data sets uh, for that, uh, the, uh, the, all the indicators are to be uh, uh, streamlined. Uh, then to understand, then to understand uh, and put it on the map uh, and to understand uh, how these uh, pieces of information would work. Uh, so uh, this is just a uh, small uh, example, visual uh, one, to, uh, for you to understand that uh, the fact that uh, what we are presenting today, this is a huge amount of work, what was done. I will come to the system. Uh, you will see uh, this is the monitoring points, uh, you know, by uh, numbers, uh, by cadastro numbers. Uh, here we have uh, we have some uh, explanations, uh, but the uh, monitoring system specifics assumes uh, uh, milestones, uh, uh, which uh, during the years uh, you know accumulate information. Um, so we reflect in demo version uh, in the format which which is uh, neutral for all uh, as of today and the part of those monitoring um, parts uh, related to soil uh, protection uh, reflected in the cadastre number by GPS. Uh, all this uh, activity is assumed uh, and uh, put into the system architecture. Uh, basically, coming back to the uh, pro problems, uh, you know, they, we, uh, these problems do not have timeframes uh, due to various uh, databases and systems. And this is uh, the work that we are doing now uh collecting the data by uh, fragments and currently uh, in uh, the greatest problems uh, is data exchange uh, in the uh, in between institutions uh, we need to create the single platform between various in the state institutions also, this is the issue of data exchange between uh, uh, between uh, uh, the various institutions. 
Uh, as of today, you know, each such uh, agreement, such, such operation is associated with a huge uh, work of uh, lawyers uh, studying national uh, legislation. Uh, and uh, it will depend uh, uh, on the level of uh, accuracy for the data uh, uh, on their significance. Uh, uh, class, uh, you know, uh, classified data and the like. Uh, so this is a huge work of the legal and institutional uh, agencies. Um, uh, as the deputy minister said, uh, the important moment uh, in this work uh, is uh, uh, that the large uh, um, scale consumers uh, would uh, have the reliable information, but uh, retain rights uh, uh, by the holders and uh, information collectors. Uh, another problem uh, uh, which exists, uh, uh, granulometric uh, composition uh, does exist, but nobody has seen it, uh, you know, ev but everybody has heard of it. Uh, uh, we should add it to the part of indicators, uh, but we do not have access. Nobody has access to, the, to it uh, because the uh, mechanism of uh, a visualization of these data and access to this data is not worked out. Uh, this specter of problem, uh, uh, what we are working with now for 1.5 years uh, as a team, and uh, and uh, basically we have this system. Let me launch it to demonstrate it. And I hope that you can see this screen. So uh, everybody here could uh, take uh, uh, the use of this demo version. Uh, many things uh, that you cannot still uh, access, you know, as uh, they are in, uh, under development. Uh, but uh, in the future, you know, you will have access to it. And uh, today we demonstrate the monitoring points. It's uh, 298 uh, presented on this map. Um, and uh, as uh, they were given to the team, you know, and how they were coordinated, you could uh, uh, select uh, various uh, uh, points uh, for the recent five years, uh, review indicators, uh, uh, select uh, various uh, uh, indicators, various characteristics uh, by years uh, in those areas where you do not have information. Uh, uh, in some uh, points uh, uh, do not have data uh, because uh, uh, it, uh, while data collection, they had various uh, indicators and um, the information was scarce, but our task was to collect all the data and uh, general characteristic. Uh, so some analytics uh, is shown on the uh, screen. The, this is the testing mode and the uh, team is working uh, open for your vision, for your wishes, uh, how the information should be presented. Also, I'd like to say that the uh, system architecture uh, assumes uh, uh, a possibility to uh, uh, upload uh, the huge um, uh, spectrum of information and uh, overlay these uh, layers of in information and uh, the use uh, various methodologies provided in different uh, extensions and uh, the technically this architecture assumes uh, working both on the national uh, and uh, and the geospatial data uploading and 
uh, here geospatial data and development of commercial modules with uh, more precise uh, 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 resolution for uh, business partners. However, this work uh, has just uh, started and the next uh, update of this system would be next uh, this uh, next Friday, uh, tomorrow. Uh, you could have a chance to have a look. Uh, please ask uh, uh, those questions. Uh, so if uh, not, uh, you could later do it by email. So you could get uh, answers to this. Coming back to the presentation. Uh, uh, we have another slide, one more slide. Uh, um, uh, sorry if, uh, that this uh, slide is in English. You know, we didn't have uh, time to translate it into Ukrainian. So this uh, uh, platform assumes uh, data exchange with other uh, members of association and private uh, owners uh, of data. And the system works uh, uh, based on the module data transformator. Mm. And uh, uh, so data holder uh, uh, is the owner of the data, but while transformation of the data, uh, so it could be uh, given to various units. Uh, and ideally, uh, uh, we uh, assume that we would come uh, uh, to the opportunity to get connected to the uh, foreign uh, international international systems so that we could get uh, internationally certified uh, or in the green deal so that the verificators uh, who would work on the Ukrainian market would have a chance, uh, an opportunity to operate the reliable data. And uh, I would uh, uh, finish at that. If you have any questions, please ask them. Uh, thank you. Thank you. Uh, for your presentation, for the good news, uh, for the launch of such uh, information resource uh, that uh, will become popular. And uh, it is uh, important that this resource would be accessible by the conventional user. Uh, if there are questions in the chat, please welcome. Uh, yes, we have the chance. A uh, quick question. Uh, are there any perspective for uh, development of the internal carbon market? Uh, Yuri Mikhailovich, uh, would you allow? Uh, this is the question uh, to our uh, to our uh, government. Uh, but I, uh, I am the uh, expert for climate change, and I work with the various institutions and uh, uh, government organizations. And the uh, uh, issue of carbon market uh, in Ukraine is being discussed. Uh, uh, there are uh, some initiatives. Uh, 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 the, like uh, creating the uh, creation of National Climatic Fund, uh, formulation of uh, um, uh, of uh, of uh, carbon offsets uh, in forestry. Uh, uh, of course, there is such a perspective, and in Ukraine, uh, it is a condition that Ukraine is not uh, a partner in partnership of climatic of climatic fund uh, and uh, you, Ukraine should uh, see uh, for additional sources for climate climatic uh, issues uh, they will grow and the launch of uh, green instruments uh, green finance uh, the carbon uh, offsets uh, this is a real perspective but it will not uh, uh, the be the perspective of one year, and this is not an easy one. It should uh, go uh, through a certain 
path, uh, the technical one, the monitoring and verification should be included so that the green instrument uh, uh, assume five main principles, uh, registration, verification and monitoring are uh, parts uh, of those, of that. Uh, thank you, Oksana. Uh, uh, do you, uh, are there any more questions in the chat? Uh, so, f no, the, there is a question there. I will try to. What perspectives uh, of correct monitoring uh, for uh, organic uh, carbon footprint in the national organization? So, the question for Oksana. Uh, here, um, uh, as I'm not the soil scientist, uh, and uh, there are some colleagues uh, here, I do understand that this, uh, co this the question with regards to methodology uh, approaches, uh, and the methodology approaches should be uh, forwarded to Yuri Mikhailovich or Mikola Mikolaevich. Please, Yuri Mikhailovich, as you as moderator. Uh, uh, what perspectives are for corrective monitoring of uh, organic uh, footprint on the national and regional level? Thank you. Uh, here uh, we can see two aspects, uh, perspective for monitoring related to reliable measuring. Uh, currently, there are two approaches. This uh, is first the state standard, first of all, that we are using, and second, uh, the methodology offered by FAO, so the protocol uh, of measuring the organic uh, compound, uh, what was offered by FAO this year. And uh, uh, also, there is certain. No connections again. Uh, if we start uh, so the, the data should be compared with the European uh, soil partnership and global soil partnership. And uh, looking uh, ahead in the future, uh, we need to take into account that the harmonization of data will be, be there. Uh, but also uh, there is the uh, existing methodology for measuring organic uh, carbon. Uh, this data could be summarized. But the problem is that the monitoring uh, area and plots uh, uh, which is uh, quite a lot, uh, 650. This is uh, uh, not enough in order to create the agrarian model uh, and to uh, connect uh, changes of organic uh, carbon and link it to the climate change. Uh, and uh, associated with the carbon credits and the like. At the same time, uh, there is a procedure for agrochemical passportization which uh, takes into account uh, humus content. Uh, also, there is a qu uh, quantitative method for content, uh, humus content. Uh, so, but it uh, provides you some pictures, some vision, uh, so that we could see uh, we uh, need to take the monitoring data. Uh, and agrochemical passportization, but also uh, monitoring in the time frame and re repeating uh, if these data uh, are available for processing, then uh, maybe we would be able to get a dynamic model for change uh, of uh, uh, organic carbon calculated uh, in order to see uh, uh, reliability of these data. Uh, for 2020 and earlier. Uh, uh, so and there is a problem of uh, uh, transiting those data into the digital format. Uh, 
Thank you. Do we have uh, any more questions? Uh, we have the question for the deputy minister who is not with us. Uh, so we can transfer this question uh, because there is a connection with the ministry. So we can transfer this question to the website uh, and uh, Mr. Taras would uh, find time to give answer to this question uh, by email. Uh, because uh, we don't have any uh, other variants. Uh, uh, any more questions? Uh, there are no more questions. No, 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 no. There, are, uh, there is a question. Uh, given uh, uh, the uh, uh, organic carbon, uh, uh, you know, this question is also for the are there any compensation for such uh, crops? Uh, uh, again, this is the question for the ministry. Uh, so based on the legislation and available um, laws, uh, uh, which uh, either allow or don't allow to doing so. I cannot give answer to that. Uh, we will transfer this question to the ministry. Any more questions, please? Mikola, uh, uh, a good uh, day. You know, I didn't see you. Uh, uh, good to see you online, Mikola. Uh, good day. Uh, 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 unfortunately, you know, due to my health condition, I could not physically attend to this uh, meeting. Uh, today, uh, from this discussion, uh, I uh, see that uh, a great interest of our community to not uh, uh, only to uh, preserve uh, soils, but climatic uh, changes, uh, uh, which is one of the great uh, milestones for sequestration of uh, carbon. And it comes uh, from the discussion uh, to the practical uh, sphere. This is very good. And uh, in this context, it is important to understand that the issue of monitoring uh, sequestration and uh, growing of uh, organic uh, uh, compound in the uh, soil is uh, multi uh, diversal, uh, it requires uh, technical preparation and technical work, the same as uh, 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 as Oksana outlined, uh, there are some technical difficulties in formulation of information system uh, and uh, uh, to make it practical, uh, this is the work for many years ahead and uh, what is being done now, the, this is, uh, these are the first steps. And it's very good that they are being done by the real specialists, scientists, uh, uh, our Institute and National Academy of Agrarian Science. Uh, in spite of all the d difficulties, it still uh, takes uh, uh, potential. And even uh, the fact that uh, from technical standpoint uh, and analytical capacity uh, are lower, uh, than those are in the Western Europe, uh, but uh, uh, the data reliability, accuracy, technical solutions, uh, uh, and the, uh, to retain organic uh, carbon and uh, reduction of emission are not uh, worse, but sometimes even better. Uh, uh, December 12, 13, uh, the third uh, international meeting of Black Soils uh, conference uh, will be held and the U Ukrainian uh, map of Black Soils will be presented and uh, national uh, approaches will uh, of various uh, countries uh, with regards to the best practices to retain and uh, preserve uh, Black Soils and organic uh, carbon. So in this regard, we are in the trend and uh, we are not lagging behind. So this is uh, uh, what we are uh, meeting the World Soil Day with. Uh, if before uh, it was uh, 
one or two events in Ukraine, that now uh, uh, we have several. Uh, today we've had uh, a conference uh, of Lviv National University uh, devoted to the history uh, of uh, studying uh, black soils. Tomorrow uh, there will be uh, international conference uh, in the Institute of Soil uh, and Agrochemistry. Uh, December 7, there will be the National Institute of Bioresources. Uh, the, the, there will be uh, a meeting uh, devoted to International Soil Day. And uh, December 9, the, uh, there will be the meeting by Organic uh, Council uh, of Ukraine. So this is something to speak about. So we meet uh, December 5 uh, with good results. Thank you for your work. Thank you, Mikola. Uh, it is a big pleasure that uh, people joined uh, to this uh, event, uh, and many institutions are holding events whose uh, idea is to draw attention to the audience, to the condition of soils. Uh, and we hope that uh, today's event uh, would also have uh, 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 an impact uh, because the soil is the life uh, and health. Uh, and uh, the health uh, of people is the basis for health of uh, soils. I would like to welcome you on this uh, day of uh, soil. Uh, and the soil should, uh, we should uh, uh, remember of soil, protect it, preserve it, uh, and, and to do some local actions, um, not only on the day of soil. Thank you very much for participation. Goodbye.